Hi boys and girls. Today's craft is for November 28th and it comes from Children's Bible Lesson Blog Spot. Okay, if you don't have a craft packet, you can go to this site and get the ideas for our craft today. Now today, if you haven't listened to Mrs. Hart, stop right now, go back and listen to her lesson. It's a good one. God has performed another miracle. And we're going to use make two different things today. And the only thing you're going to need is tape. Everything else is in your craft packet. Now we're going to make first a torch. Now you remember from the lesson, we have another miracle here that God has defeated the enemy having Gideon and the 300 brave men just use a torch and a trumpet. And God's power shone through all of it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna make is the torch. So pick up your long sheet of colored paper. Yours might be brown. I didn't have any brown left, so I just did yellow. And in the middle, it says Gideon and the brave 300. Now you want that to show, and it hasn't from where we got it in the Bible, the book of Judges, chapter 7. What we're going to do is make it like a circle, okay? Don't bend it, or try not to bend it, it's a little bit tricky. And then take a piece of tape, I guess I should have done my tape ahead of time, shouldn't I? I'm going to do that right now. In case you forget, you can do this too. Isn't that the best thing about crafts? You can kind of make a mistake and then you go back and do it again. It's okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead. And you see how I kind of made a cone shape? Well, it's not a cone shape yet, but it will be. And see how I left Gideon in the middle of the front. Okay? So I'm going to tape, one on the top, and I'm doing one a little bit toward the bottom. If you want to do one in the middle, you can. All right, now the next thing we're going to do for our torch is fun. We're going to leave about this much, maybe the size of a mom's hand, the way it is right now, just like this shape. And the rest we're going to make into a handle. See my torch? Can you see it coming together? Okay. Now that is going to be my torch. Now I'm going to take the piece of tissue paper. Now you might have yellow, you might have red. It doesn't matter. It's going to signify fire. And you're just going to scrunch up the bottom of a little bit and stick it right in your torch. And that is the flame for the torch. Isn't that cool? Okay, now we have our torch that Gideon used and the brave men. And now we're going to make a trumpet. Now you have a piece of foil, tin foil, in your packet. Again, you're going to just very carefully, this is kind of hard, boys and girls, because foil likes to scrunch up, doesn't it? We're going to kind of just try to make it into this shape. And again, what did I do? I forgot my tape. Are you forgetting yours too? Okay, there I go. I'm putting out my strips of tape on the edge so I can pick them up. Okay, here we go again, and take the paper, don't fold it, boys and girls, just kind of shape it into a cylinder, okay, and then put your piece of tape, be very gentle, boys and girls, because it, it will crinkle very easily. Okay, and that's just what it looks like, I take this side. Now, this for our trumpet, have you ever seen a trumpet? The end of it is flared out. So we want to leave, again, 
a space about this big, maybe the size of your hand, right here. So that can be the end of the trumpet. And again, we're gonna have fun and scrunch up the bottom. How do you like that word scrunch? Okay, so here we go. See the end of my trumpet? So now you have the trumpet that they blew and the torch. And was it these two things that defeated the enemy? No, it was God and his power. As we know, and he has his power in our lives today. Okay, boys and girls, have a great week, and I'll see you next week.